Funke Akindele's dramedy Omogeto the Saga has made history as the first Nigerian film to screen in UAE theaters. Next up, we'll take you to the star-studded film premiere in Dubai. Do enjoy. But you know what you're doing is not right. What I'm doing is not right. Yes, I know. I'm left. So what I'm doing is left. Omogeto the Saga, Funke Akindele's drama comedy, currently number one in Nigerian cinema, claims another big win as the first Nigerian film to screen in UAE cinemas. <laughs> this follows the recent private screening of Delivery Boy by Adekunle Adejoigbe. I live in Dubai here with my husband, Baria Ghaniers. She's also in here, but she's from America. She came for Omogeto. Yeah. Purposely for that. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I, I love Fans of the star actress and her latest production can't hide their excitement as they gather at Nova Cinemas in Festival City, Dubai, the first to show the movie in the country. It's a historic moment as six screens here are sold out for tonight's viewing with reports of good turnout at other cinemas in the city and across the Emirates. A lot of people out there can't even get tickets to see the movie tonight. And you know, we're really excited about this. And you know, from the news that we received from you know the guys in Abu Dhabi and Sharjah as well, it's all sold out. So it's really a big success. Uh, and it's good that we are starting on this note. And you know, we've also you know made people understand that you know this is gonna be a continuous thing. So thank you everyone for coming out. We really appreciate this. Uh, we look forward to you know breaking more grounds with Morning Today we've made history. It's unbelievable. I can't uh, I can't imagine what we've achieved today. The fans were blazing, everybody was so happy and um, the turnout was massive. You can see the cheers and we, we believe that this is the beginning of, of something great uh, for Nollywood, for Nigeria and for Africa as well. In the bid to make people happy, I thought 2020 has been so tough. Why don't we end it on a happy note? Let people laugh. Watch this wonderful movie that brings everybody together, laugh and be happy. And we decided to risk it. And I was so happy. People were so happy. They were laughing at the, in the cinema. Oh, give me so much joy. I must say I was very skeptical. Um, I did not want to release the movie this Christmas. But thank God we did. <laughs> I was very skeptical. I, I, I thought it was too soon. Um, we were going to be the first movie, or uh, yeah, the first movie to come out in the cinemas after the lockdown. And I was fearful because I'm not sure if people want to risk going to the cinema um, or if we're going to make enough sales to cover the expenses of making the movie. I mean, the movie has back-to-back stars, 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 stars. So the finances to get them on, on set wasn't very cheap. So I was very worried. Um, to come with glory, <laughs> on first day, every single cinema screen was sold out. The next day, the cinemas were canceling other movies and putting a Mugetto in there because the demand was just too high. Um, so, thank you for letting us be reasonable. <laughs> the film's success in Nigeria is of interest to stakeholders in the UAE box office, an industry valued at $300 million, according to a 2019 report by the Motion Picture Association. I have the opportunity to release the first Nigerian movie uh, in UAE. It's a, it's a great privilege and to, provide, to be able to provide content and uh, entertainment offerings for the Nigerian population and the population of Africans living here, enjoying their life here in the UAE. What? Where do you want us to get it from? And please stay away from hard drugs. I hope this has been inspiring for all of us. Yes. Choma Akpota, Deyemi Okonlawo, Alex Akubo, and Bimbo Thomas are all smiles as they celebrate this landmark achievement.
I am ecstatic. I am on top of the world. I'm so glad I'm part of the movie everyone is talking about right now. And like, we're smashing all the smashables. <laughs> we're smashing box offices. We're just doing everything. I'm happy. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm part of this project. I'm, I'm so happy for Fuke and uh, Abdul. Her husband. It was a long journey, but we are grateful to God that this is where we are. Ah. I'm gonna get to this other. <laughs> <laughs> like I will fly anywhere for this movie. Um, and, and that's the truth because I mean, I mean, I've been in a couple of movies in, in my career, and, uh, <laughs> and to be honest, none has had the impact. You know that Amogeto Saga has had, uh, and it's, it's been amazing. The journey has been amazing since we hit the cinemas. You know, even before going to cinemas, while we were filming, it was already an amazing experience. Coming to the cinemas, people just love it. It's 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 it's, it's really been crazy. You know, and everybody all around the world have been asking, how do we get to see Amogeto the Saga? How do we get to see? And now we have the opportunity to come to UAE, to come to Dubai to show. I just had to be. It's just exciting to see that people are and, uh, loving it and really receiving it well. We put a lot into this movie, we put our blood, sweat, tears in it and we're just happy that people love it. I feel very good, you know, being a part of this because it's, uh, it's huge, it's big. You know, the fact that um, in Nigeria, back home, we killed it and we are, uh, this is an awakening call. You know, for Nigeria movies, not even as a whole. You know, coming in here in UAE, and we're going to be going to around UK, US by the special guest of God because it's big and we're planning. So after this one, it has to be higher. It can be the same level. For its opening weekend in Sharjah and Abu Dhabi Emirates, Omogeto the Saga sold more seats than any other film, an encouraging start to pointing to great potential for Nollywood in the UAE. From Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, Mayawa Adigoke for Channels Television.